this is Ron with Comics Price Guide and today I want to talk about your account settings. So when you click on your username in the upper right corner of the site you'll see different tabs that you can look through that are important that maybe I'll cover in a different video. But the one I want to talk about today is account settings right here. So I am an administrator so mine looks a little differently. Uh, a little different than yours. Um, you should have a red button here that says cancel subscription and then you'll have a couple of different options, a gold and a silver option if you're a bronze member. So this is how you upgrade and change different things like that. Then your personal information, your password, this is how you change your password. Profile picture if you want to upload something, please don't upload anything inappropriate because you will get banned. And this um, is a really important page. So if you have a high dollar collection and you don't want people to see your stuff, you can just toggle these off. And now people cannot see either your collection, your want list, or your display case. Your display case is kind of a show off thing. This is the books that you're looking for, and this is your actual collection. So you can easily click them back on again. So if you're selling on the site, you might want to have at least the, your collection on. Um, this is a page setting that you can use. Um, so whenever you search for a book, there are four different tabs, the details, values, variants, and my collection tab. So here you can choose where your account will default to. So if you just want to see values, if you just want to see the price guide, this would be the one. If you're interested in all the variants for books, this would be the one. If you're only interested in the books that you own, here it is. And it, from a general point of view, it would be this one. Um, the next options are for the sellers on the site. So like if you have 400 sales and then you're going on a trip for a week, you can click this. All your sales will disappear from the site. And then when you get back, you can click it, and they'll all reappear again. So you don't have to re-enter everything. So that's a wonderful feature if you're selling on the site. This one, I can show you very quickly about cover scans, how to upload a cover scan to the site. So I'm going to go to Batman 201, which I own. As you can see, you own one. Click into that. I'm on the details page, but if I go into the My Collection page, this is where you upload a cover scan. When you click that button, it allows you to upload either a JPEG or a PNG file. Please do not try to upload other files. They will not work, um, and it will frustrate you. Now, after you have one loaded, I'll show you what it looks like because I have issue 200 loaded. So this is the stock one, and this is my cover. See how this has changed here? So I'm gonna click view my cover. So now my cover is there. So you can see this is mine. It's got a little problem there. And it's got a little dirt at the bottom of it, but that's the issue that I own. So you could make that the default if you want with that switch I showed you in my account. So that kind of gives you an overview of the different account settings, um, except for eBay, which you can put in your eBay name um, and so that people can see your eBay feed on Comics Price Guide. So you can tie everything together if you'd like. Um, I hope that's helpful to you. Have a good day.